let's talk about the infamous mole problem. GRE, Manhattan Prep. Chapter 6, page 293, problem 15. Every year, many people become ill because of airborne mold spores in their homes. After someone becomes ill, specialists are often hired to eradicate the mold. These specialists look in damp areas of the house since mold is almost always found in places where there is a substantial moisture. If one wishes to avoid mold poisoning, then one should make sure to keep all internal plumbing in good condition to prevent leakage that could serve as a breeding ground for mold. Now, if I understand what's being said here is there's a variable that somebody can control that determines the outcome in terms of whether or not they have mold. Okay, that seems to be the important statement made in this paragraph. If you keep things dry, the mold doesn't happen. If you don't think keep things dry, mold, mold could happen. Okay, it says, which of the following is an assumption on which the argument depends? If I understand the argument, the argument is keep things dry, you don't get any mold. On what, on what assumption does that depend? Letter A, it says mold itself does not create moisture. Okay. B, most homeowners know enough about plumbing to determine whether theirs is in good condition. Okay. C, mold cannot grow in dry areas. D, no varieties of mold are harmless. Letter E, mold spores cannot be filtered from the air. I'm not going to hit each of these possible answers uh, in, the, in this video. We can to talk about them in the, in the comment section if you like. Uh, the, problem, the problem I've been having is this. Is, uh, my students always seem to conclude on their own exactly what I conclude in terms of being what is, what is the, the right answer here. And they keep getting it wrong, according to the editors of this book, and I keep getting it wrong. So the, uh, the book apparently says, A, Mold itself does not create moisture. Hmm. And yet, my students and I uh, seem to keep uh, picking uh, C, mold cannot grow in dry areas. Now, a book of this size, even a very good book, uh, could have some kind of a typographic error where one letter simply replaces another letter. But if you check, if you check the explanations for these uh, later, uh, you see that there's very, very clear and active support for answer A and a very clear denial for answer C in the book. Uh, but I, I'm not sure that the editors of this book understand what, uh, what, what it means to, to have control over a variable or not. Let's take a look at this. Okay. Something you don't control is this. Okay. Okay. So it's possible. Oh no! If I don't, if I don't control this, then I don't control the mold. Yeah. If it's if there's something you if you can't control the mold, then you'd be wasting your time keeping things dry. That makes that makes sense. Um, uh, but you also don't control whether it grows in dry areas. Oh no! I don't control that either. So it's another thing. If you can't control, you know, if you, if, if it's if, if the variable that you try to control doesn't affect whether the mold grows then you don't control the mold by controlling that variable. It's kind of logical. But let's look at the combinations of these things being true and not true. Okay, first, mold grows in dry areas. Okay, keeping, keeping dry will not prevent mold if it produces its own moisture. Okay, so if it grows in a dry area and produces its own moisture, uh, it, it, you're not, not going to do much to fight it. Okay, for those two reasons. Over here. Mold grows in dry areas, but mold does not produce its own moisture. Why does it need to produce its own moisture if it grows in dry areas? Okay, so whether or not it produces its own moisture uh, doesn't seem to make any difference uh, in terms of uh, whether mold grows in dry areas. It'll be it'll be the same effect. If it's growing in a dry area, it doesn't need its own moisture, so whether or not it produces it doesn't make any difference. Okay. Trying to keep things dry doesn't matter on this side. Okay, over here. Mold does not grow in dry areas. If it does not grow in dry areas and it produces its own moisture, guess what? It can't produce its own moisture if it does not first grow. If you keep it dry, it will never get a chance to produce its own moisture. 
So keeping dry apparently makes a difference over here. Down here, mold does not grow in dry areas. Mold does not produce its own moisture. And again, why would it need to if it never gets a chance? Okay, so if it grows in dry areas, you're not going to be able to prevent it from growing there, regardless of whether it grows, it produces its own moisture or not. If it does not grow in dry areas, you can prevent it from growing there, whether it produces its own moisture or not. The variable that you control is contingent upon this variable, not on this one. Am I missing something? GRE people, explain it to me in the comments section.